I want him to do. How do you do it? These two guys here with that stick. He has power with that stick to make me do what, what he tells me to do. So what's your stick? What's your stick? I've been under that stick 43 years. How do you make people do what you want them to do? I just turn that around and give it back to you. What you put on me with that, I just take that and throw it back at you. Are you saying that you used violence to make people do what you no, wanted them to no, do? No, I don't, I don't deal in violence. I'm you, not a violent person. My, 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 my record's been, I've been on record, uh, all my life's been on record, and I'm not violent. I learned that whatever you put out, you get back. And I don't like to be hurt, so I'm not going to hurt anyone. All this stuff about Charles Manson, the guru, the person that people follow, is that true? Sure. Why? Why did they follow because you? Because I'm in the soul. I'm in the fist. What does that mean? The fist, the family of the infinite soul. The eyes are the windows of the soul. When I show you something once, you know it's there. You've seen it. It's in your soul. It becomes a part of you. Do you still have people who write to you, who visit you if they can, who follow you? Every, the whole world's following me. There's no place else they can go. What do you tell I haven't found no place to run. <laughs> and I'm following the next guy in front of me. Everybody's following someone. Do you believe that you have powers to... No more than any other man. No all, more than any other man. All, well, I, all men have powers. Some people know it, some people don't. Some people understand the power they have, and other people don't understand the power they have. What is it about you that made all these young people come to you, that made them follow the, you? The music. Just the music. <laughs> I sing like that. <laughs> yeah. Kind of put you on center, huh? Well, it's loud. Yeah, I sing loud. I sing real loud. It grabs your attention. It does. It does. It kind of reaches in there and breaks all the pattern in your brain. See, you, your music is, uh, is Barry Manilow <laughs> and all them ooh, pa, pa, and they sing it to little girls for, for a dollar and a quarter. I'm singing up for God rolls. I'm singing up in the top echelons of the music. Have you always sung like that? No, no, no. I got, uh, I've become, I started a rebirth movement in 67. Everybody else stole it. Carter stole it. Everybody said, oh, this is us. They locked me up and said, oh, this is us. We represent that. You know, I'm important on that. And maybe, and then they'll want to make their little decision. And then they'll say, let me get in there. Because everybody wants in there first. You know how that goes. Do you ever think about Sharon Tate and the people that were killed that night? No, not that much. But everybody said, oh, this is us. They locked me up and said, oh, this is us. We represent that. You know, I'm important on that. And maybe and then they'll want to make their little decision. And then they'll say, let me get in there. Because everybody wants in there first. You know how that goes. Do you ever think about Sharon Tate and the people that were killed that night? No, not that much. Why should I? A lot of people get killed. People get killed all over the world every day. Do you feel any responsibility for what happened that night? None. feel no remorse for what happened that remorse. night. How am I going to feel remorse? What am I supposed to feel remorse about? Everyone says, you feel no remorse. I said, can't you understand I'm not guilty of anything? And they said, well, you're supposed to feel remorse. I'm supposed to feel remorse because you don't understand, because you're twisted in your brain. You know, in other words, someone comes in and says, you were in New York City last night. You said, no, I wasn't. And they said, well, don't you feel bad about it? You said, feel bad about what? I said, that people that happened in New York City. Man, I wasn't in New York City. I wasn't there. I was in San Diego in bed with some broad I'd met in Big Sur. I didn't have no family. I had a motorcycle, a sleeping bag, and a guitar guy. I just got out of the penitentiary. I hadn't been out of jail long enough to, to uh, they said, well, you got our kids to do this, knock you out. You had your kids to do that. Your kids were doing that before I got out of the penitentiary. I just got out of jail. Can't you understand that? You know, you tell the people something, and they've got their minds made up a certain way. You dig what I'm saying? 
and you tell them something and they just don't know. What am I supposed to feel remorse about? Do you feel remorse that every day of my life you've tormented me with these idiots that you got holding me down? That you beat me and knocked my jaw out, you forced me medication, you drugged me, you drugged me up down hallways, you set my head on every chopping block in the state of California. You've poisoned me, you've done everything, I've puked blood for months and days, man. You've done everything you could do to get me killed, and then you turn around and ask me, do I have any remorse? If I have the right to do to you what you've been doing to me, then that gives me the right to do anything I want to, anyone I want to do it to. Can you see now? Well, you better give me my rights. Because as you're doing this to me, you're doing this to all these children and they're all these cells and they're growing up just like you're raising them up with no rights. And even the guys in the uniforms are looking at it and saying, what am I doing this for? Why am I cheating this guy? He's got no money. Why don't I go up the hill and take the money away? You know, if, I give, if you give DuPont the same right you give me, you can put DuPont in the cell and take everything he's got. Take his children, rape his women, drag him up and down the highway. Everything's okay when it comes to doing it to Charlie. And Charlie's been carrying it. And Charlie knows in the background that when the wave comes in, the wave goes out. And each time the wave comes in, the wave goes out. And you're all going to get the reflection in the mirror that you put in this child here. And it's got nothing to do with me helping you, because I, I'm gone from you people, man. I'm out in the desert. I'm doing what I'm doing. The only people I would be helping, I'll help Squeaky. And I put my life up to protect her, even though I know she's the devil. <laughs> I'd help Blue. I'd help Green and I'd help Yellow, and I would help all the girls that got busted with me because they know me in the thought of this. All the guys in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not true, I would not have told you so. And it's just as true then as it is true now, as it will be true forever and ever and ever. I don't care what the Christians say. Jesus Christ is a reality. So you feel loyalty to certain people, people who you feel have stood by you. Sure, the people that tell me the truth, I'm, I'm bond to tell them the truth back. The people that have treated me right, I am bond to treat them right back. The people that have not treated me right, the Holy Ghost will deal with that. Why do you say squeaky from is the devil? Because all women are. They have to be to survive. Men aren't. Sure, men are too. Sure, we, we, we have both. We hold both balances. Women are worse? I would say, yeah. <laughs> I would say, well, well, if you get Mama Lion is very vicious. The Queen of England has never lost a war. A woman is, is, woman has the power. A woman sends these guys to work every day. A woman puts it on the road. She has the will plus the supermarket. I have the reality of numbers, and I have the fishing pole. I have other things, but see, the games that you guys play with your woman and man thing, we don't play that man-woman thing. You, know? you guys are all hung up in them soap operas, they're killing themselves over crazy things that really, you know, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't mean anything. When, when you peek the peak and you touch the ultimate, then you walk with the ultimate in your soul forever, man. You know, and you can't put a personality on that. You can't say, well, I'll now pronounce you man and wife, you know, and all that thing that was somewhere else, because the rebirth movement that I started, don't go back and pick up the same old shit. Excuse my French. You don't go back and pick up the same old trash can. You start all over. And starting all over means starting all over. And when you start all over, it's a constant rebirth thing. And it's not going back to Sunday school or with Swagger or Baker or the Pope or the Rope Soap. That's all dead. That's all old game. That's all graveyard game. You know that Jesus was a reality. He died so I could live. I'm not going to miss out on that. I'm getting up on that train too. That doesn't mean that I live by a bunch of foolish rules that a bunch of old people are left by old people that left by old people that... Because let me run something to you. What it took Jesus Christ 2,000 years to do in thought, in word, in deed, you can do now with television in two or three months. You, you see what I'm saying? 
And what the Constitution and the people that founded this country in 1776 did, you know, like the government's got nine Supreme Court justices for 20 million people in, in the 1800s. Man, you got 250 million people. That's like a fat woman, 500 pounds, trying to get into a size 10 dress. The government's not working. The system is not working. And they won't admit it. They think building more prisons is, going to, is the solution. Building more prisons just add more confusion to the problem that's already at hand. You know? Charlie, what would you do if you wanted to... Is there anything at all that you would change about your life? Yeah, I would have planted them other trees. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just as stupid as anybody else. I'm no smarter than anybody. I'm no better than anybody. <laughs> but nobody's better than me. You know, uh, you could ask that question to yourself, I guess, you know. I don't, I don't have any, any regrets. I don't, you know, it's foolish to regret and think about something that it doesn't change nothing you know you can't change anything anyway i mean how are you going to change yesterday yesterday's gone you let it go man you don't hang on to it and drag it down the road in a sack you know i mean uh, that's part of changing the lifestyle what about helter skelter that's the district attorney's illusion that's his trip that's a reflection of his fear his sex paranoia all the games that, but he won that reality for you guys. When he said, I versus the people versus the people that he represented, he won Helter Skelter as a reality for those people. But that's got nothing to do with me. Helter Skelter was a nightclub in the desert. That's where I run a poker game and I shoot dice. And I make money and I ride around in dune buggies. It's funny, they say, you're going to the desert. I said, I was going to the desert? I said, L.A.'s in the middle of the desert. What's wrong with you, dummy? You see, you were going to the desert. How can I be going to where I'm, I'm in a conspiracy to go to where I'm standing? You know, it doesn't make any sense, man. I mean, it makes sense to you people. Helter Skelter is just simple, uh, just confusion. That's been happening. Let me run something to you. You go to jail, the music's going, da ba da 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 You go to jail. It stops. You're in jail 10 or 15 years, you get back out in the music going, da 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 and you go to jail again. And everything stops. And you get back out, you go to jail again, you come back out and they go, and you say, wow, people are going crazy out there, man. Your minds, I don't know how, how, you, how your brains can keep up with all that, you know? Gee whiz, man, you know? So it's the same thing with your dancing. And, and you're walking back and forth, and you're living of your every ordinary life. And I see why your children are all committing suicide and going crazy, man, because, phew, how you, you know, because you're running in a crazy world. You got a crazy life going on out there, you know? So you ask me if I want to get back out in that? I haven't been able to get to the penitentiary yet. I've been 18 years trying to get to jail. I was in the penitentiary, and I got out, and I come back, and I haven't been able to find the penitentiary yet. You know, the penitentiary seems to have gone. They moved it somewhere. And this is another thing. Isn't it funny that while you would get Amnesty International to take millions of dollars from the United States to help prisoners out of jail in other countries, when you got political prisoners right here in the United States that you're overlooking, that you won't accept? You got people all over this country that are in here for political reasons. But you want to make us criminals and crime and say we're all crooks.